These are the instructions for the IRISYS Model 1001 Thermal Imaging Camera. Asset item 164. The first thing you'll do on the PC is hook up the USB cable for the iPack cradle. The iPack cradle will allow the communication between the PC and the iPack unit. Place the iPack unit on top of it and it should power up and the screen should activate such as shown. Go back to the PC and the PC should detect the item automatically and ask to set up a partnership. The second screen will come up and you will type in a new device name. After this you will press the next button and the Microsoft ActiveSync software will detect the iPack and synchronize itself to it. Then return to the irises and IPAC master file. Once inside, select the IRIS 1001 software package, especially for the calibration of this particular serial unit. Go back to IPAC version 1.22 and then to the installer and then set up application. Once selecting this, an image will come up on the screen with the IRISYS logo. Click install and then click yes. The application is now being installed in the IPAC that is hooked up on the cradle. Going down to the iPack and turning it on, the screen should turn on automatically by touching it with the stylus. Scrolling down in the menu, go to Programs, and you will see the Iris Sys Mobile Manager being installed on the iPack with a status bar. And then the icon will show up within the programs. Select on that the image itself of the thermal imager will come on. If the thermal imaging camera is turned on, the power is applied to the camera unit itself, it will start to record images. Looking at the PC, it says and confirms that the installation is complete. And also does the information there. The mobile manager itself will be taken off the cradle with the power turned on and place into the back end of the camera slip down. The connection information port is located on the bottom of the iPack and you will slide it in orientating itself bottom first until it clicks on the bottom. Please note that there is a black switch on the bottom that holds the iPack in position and must be used as a release switch when you're trying to pull the iPack and release it from the camera. On the bottom of the iPack, you'll notice that there is buttons corresponding to the menus on the bottom. Within the, within the menu itself, it has selections for sensitivity, exit menu, color map of changing the colors of the map, interpolation menu, sensitivity, which is important, and if you want to do Fahrenheit or census, and snapshot which will capture still frames of the images that you're seeing. And the sensitivity itself is the important part of getting the camera calibrated. What I'm doing now is I'm pointing it at a heat source which would be the computer screen and changing the sensitivity rating to the left which is making it more sensitive and it is sensing the heat signature off of the computer screen. That's an LCD screen not a CRT. It is also showing the temperature up in the upper right hand register. And when the sensitivity is adjusted, shows the image of the thermal image from the computer screen as a test. Here's the iPad connectors on the side, which is also a battery indicator. 
a charge indicator, and the power port on the side. The thermal imager is now being tested in front of a heat source. The heat source is being shown in a temperature gradient up in the upper right hand corner of the display. This is standing at about a distance of 5 feet and showing the heat signature and you can see that the sensitivity is turned much higher than was tested on the computer screen. This tests the IPAC, operations, and software uploading for the Model 1001 IRISIS, UK, England, 